In this video today, I'm going to show you how we can help minimize the dreaded... My, my thread shows through my seam on my serged garment. What I have is my machine set up for a three, sta three thread serge, one needle, and two loopers. I have it set at the default settings. I'm going to do a fresh seam here. Then when you pull your garment open, you pull it, you'll see your threads a little bit. What you could do to help minimize that is you could take your left needle and turn up the tension just a little bit, maybe to like a plus one tension or plus 1.5. And that'll even limit it a little bit more for your thread showing. I'm using white thread on black. If you look at the garment that you're probably wearing now, if it's got a serge, look at the inside. You'll notice that the thread matches the fabric. Not just kind of matches the fabric. Usually in factory-made stuff, the thread matches exactly the fabric. Sometimes they even match the, the fabric content of the garment to the fabric content of the needles, of the loopers in the needle to minimize that. Now this is white thread. You can see it still see a little bit through there. What I'm going to do is just change the needle thread, my machine. Now the only thing I've done differently here is I've switched over my needle thread to black and I left my looper still white. Now just matching up the thread virtually eliminated any of the threads from showing. There's still a little bit of white because a little bit of the looper threads are there. So just matching the left needle will minimize your thread showing. And your best thing obviously is to use matching comb, matching looper threads. And you're probably thinking, oh, I don't want to buy four or five cones of thread. What I do is old spools of thread. I glue a bobbin on the bottom of it. I put this on my bobbin winder on my sewing machine. And I've used my cone thread to do up spools of thread for the cone. This helps if you have a unique color like this burgundy here. I'm not going to buy five rolls of this burgundy. I'll never use it all up. I use one roll, one spool, and I make either two loopers or two loopers and needles. So I make four cones of this, four little spools. And I use this as my needle thread. That's how I do matching threads for my needle and loopers. So you can buy one cone. We all have extra spools and we all have ex extra bobbins. You can order these on eBay, 20 of them for like two bucks. Doesn't even have to match 
your machine, just get the cheapest ones you can because you're going to glue them on here and just put them on your bobbin winder. You're not going to put these in your sewing machine. So that's how I do matching needle and loopers. I make these up.